Tammy with Real Southern Woman. I've been gone a few days. I got up this morning and I got caught up with my paperwork and edited a video. I've had a nap. My doggies are up, so they're making noises. Um, I hope y'all are having a blessed day. <laughs> Why are you sneezing, Soda? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, all right, you're not going to believe this. You're just not going to believe it. You should believe it. Um, you know, I was gathering the scripture cups for you guys. I have been to Savannah. I have been through Brunswick and I have been in Statesboro. I've also been in Florida and I've looked for extra cups. I only found four. So I have a total of 36 scripture cups. Can I say that the day, this doesn't include the others over here in this bracket, okay? The day I wrote down the names for cups, for one of y'all uh, to get one apiece, because I would never be able to send a bunch of them, unless some of y'all decided you don't want them anymore. I have 36 cups, and there are 36 names that I wrote down the first 36. And then over here under others are the ones that ask for them later. So if you did what I asked you to do and you sent me um, the message the way I asked for you to send it, in other words, I didn't want you to write it in the post that I show the cups, I wanted you to ask me in the post that was separate with a photo, the ones that did it correctly, there were 36. And there's 36 cups. What about that? Now, if you don't know for sure if your name is on here, I'm going to call out the names. 36 names. Okay. And then if your name has been listed, there's an email address at the top of this post at our email, Collard Valley Cook, without an S, at gmail.com. If you will email me, we will take care of the um, purchase amount and you guys can get your cups okay i'm going to call out the names and then we are going i'm not sure what's going on there and then we are going to uh do bible study okay so i'm going to call them out debbie yarum phyllis felski sharon harris margaret martin sandra richardson Diane Rice Camp, Colleen Harris, Donna J Donna James, Pauline Horns, Angie Hargis, Rita Rodriguez, Lisa Jones, Lori, you know who you are, L-O-R-R-I. Um, you're probably a YouTuber. Donna James. Oh, Donna James signed up for two. Donna James, you'll only be able to get one. So that means, and so did Lori. So that means I can call out a couple more of these. Okay. Um, Lisa Jones, Rose Colding, Cheryl Halloway, Diana Barnes, Rebecca Carter, Kimberly Glenn, Paula Schumacher, Schumacher Tina Rocco, Angie Jordan, Alice Nana Miller, Renee Reagan, Judy Adair, Susan Hoyle, Susie Whitley, Alice Chen, Sheila Walker, Mary Covey, Judy Simon, Vicki Mershak, Janet Eaton, T. Rose Lover is your YouTube name, and then uh, Panthea Wade and Vicki Hellard. If your names were called, then you can send me an email. We'll take care of payment. If for some reason um, you don't get in touch with me and uh, then I will open up and, and, and go further on this list of names. OK, so if you guys had your name called out, you can rewind it and listen to it again when I go off. Um, then you can just send me the email. We'll get the payment taken care of and we're going to get those out to you guys. Um, 
Let's see. Let's see who's here today. Quite a few of y'all are here today. I hope you're having a blessed day. A lot of people turned uh, turned tuned off when I started calling out the names for some reason. Um, now, we have a Bible study today, and it is about anger. So I thought we uh, will talk about the Bible study while we're on here. Chris just left to go into town to take... Uh, to get the mail and do something else. I forgot what he said he was doing. I just said, okay. Um, and so we're going to read through our Bible study today. It was the morning reading from Charles Spurgeon this morning off of the Blue Letter Bible. And it is about Jonah in the, uh, y'all know the story of Jonah and the, in the whale and he gets angry. And so that is what today's Bible study is about. Okay. Let's open it up and give it a look-see. says, July the 13th, morning reading. It says, God said to Jonah, Dost thou well to be angry? And what's so funny about this verse, y'all, is when we met the fella at the Bass Pro Shop a few days ago, I don't know if y'all remember me mentioning that or not. He was talking about the Bible. This is one of his favorite verses. Dost thou well to be angry? <laughs> he just thinks it's funny. Um, anger is not always or necessarily sinful. And if you're wondering why he thinks that's funny, you should go back and read the, the book. Jonah's only four chapters. It, it doesn't take long to read it. Um, but what had happened was he wanted Jonah to go witness. And he didn't want to do it. So he got on a boat to go away and he was swallowed by the whale and the whale spit him out. But he learned the lesson while he was in the whale, learned the lesson enough to go tell Nineveh what God wanted him to say to them. And then after he told them, everyone, including the, the king, decided to repent and um, turn to God. And it made him mad because they were an evil people. And I guess he just thought they were too evil for God. And so Jonah got mad. And then God, he, he ran up and he, and he stayed under a, a tree or, or somewhere. And God uh, made a gourd. God made something to shade him so he wouldn't get sunburned. It wouldn't get too hot. And then the next day when he woke up, God had taken it away and he was mad because it wasn't there anymore to shade him. And he said he wished he would just die. So that's when God said, dost thou well to be angry? And then he asks him, he says, yes. And then after he sends in the gourd, he says, dost thou well to be angry with the gourd? It was, it's just funny at the end. And um, and then he lets Jonah know that the people turned to him and they were good enough to save, you know, whether he liked it or not. And so this is about anger. Now, that's the story kind of, you know, shortened my version. So if you want to go take a look at it. You're more than welcome. I wish you would go read it tonight because, like I said, it's only four chapters. It's really short and sweet and um, a good lesson learned. Okay? So, we're going to hop over to Bible study. I don't know why, but every time I take a nap, because, y'all, I just woke up. <laughs> I woke up and I told Chris, oh, I was going to come and talk to y'all before I went to sleep. And I told Chris, I said, I'm getting ready to do Bible study. He went in there and he got his, he, he closed the door and was going to be quiet. And I got so sleepy and I said, Chris, I'm going to take a nap and then I'll do Bible study. Because I wanted to feel better when, when I talked to y'all. Since you haven't seen me in a few days, I had the best time uh, with the kids. I got to see May um, and I got to see Amy and Keisha. So I had a really good time. Um, and I actually got to see Angel too. Uh, it was a blessed few days, I have to say. And I spent two nights with May, and we did a lot of work uh, shopping and fixing the pantry. And it was just fun to watch her uh, fix her apartment. Okay, 
So it says anger is not always or necessarily sinful, but it has such a tendency to run wild that whenever it displays itself, we should be quick to question its character with this inquiry. Dost thou well to be angry? It may be that we can answer yes. Very frequently, anger is the madman's firebrand. But sometimes it is Elijah's fire from heaven. We do well when we are angry with sin because of the wrong which it commits against our good and gracious God. Or with ourselves because we remain so foolish after so much divine instruction. Or with others when the sole cause of anger is the evil which, which they do. He who is not angry at transgression becomes a partaker in it. Sin is a disgusting and hateful thing. And no renewed heart can patiently endure it. God himself is angry with the wicked every day. And it is written in his word, yet that love the Lord, ye that love the Lord hate evil. Far more frequently, it is to be feared that our anger is not admirable or even justifiable. And then we must answer no. Why should we be upset with children, heated with servants? Um, I would say that would be co-workers. And angry with companions. And such anger, is such anger honorable? to our Christian profession or glorifying to God. It is not the old evil hearts, isn't it? Not the evil heart, our old evil, sorry. He writes, he twists stuff around. I would say it opposite. Most of the time I change it and I didn't today. It says, is it not the old evil heart seeking to gain dominion? And should we not resist it with all the might of our newborn nature? Many professors give way to temper as though. And when he says professors, it makes it sound like a professor in a college, but he's saying a professor of Christ, like if you are a believer. So I'll say many believers give way to temper as though it were useless to attempt resistance. But let the believer remember that he must be a conqueror in every point or else he cannot be crowned. If we cannot control our tempers, what has grace done for us? We must not make natural infirmity an excuse for sin. But we must fly to the cross and pray the Lord to crucify our tempers and renew us in gentleness and meekness after his own image. And that's our Bible study for today. I used to work, I actually used to go to church with a girl and um, she was a great Bible teacher, but she believed that all anger was sinful. And I truly do not believe that. I believe if it were, he wouldn't have given us the verse, be angry and sin not. Um, but she believed otherwise. And we're all, and as I've told y'all many times before, on subjects like this one, we can agree to disagree. It is up to how the Holy Spirit uh, works with your, the Spirit within you, the Holy Spirit within your uh, spirit on how your conviction is when it comes to uh, some subjects. And hers was just that she should never be angry, ever. And Lord have mercy, bless her heart. Um, she's awful sweet if she can do that. <laughs> she's awfully in tune with her Holy Spirit. Um, and I try not to get anger, angry. But of course we all do at times, right? I hope y'all have a blessed day. Me and Chris are going to go in the kitchen if he comes back in time, which he should. And I want to do a tomato gravy over a hamburger steak tonight and serve it with some potatoes. Most people have tomato gravy with biscuits. 
and I really don't think I'll be making biscuits because we made cornbread for lunch. We had cornbread with great northern beans for lunch. That was our lunch today, just beans and cornbread. And so um, tonight we're going to do the tomato gravy and uh, a hamburger steak with some potatoes. So maybe you guys will get to join us. I hope so when we go live. Um, if he gets back in time, I should go live close to around five o'clock tonight. I'm not going to do my typical tomato gravy that's in the cookbook because I believe it has some cream in it. Um, I'm going to change it up just a little bit. If it can be a little more healthy, I'm going to make it. Okay, y'all have a blessed day and I appreciate it. Now, y'all listen to the list of names if you tuned in later. At the beginning of the video, I list out the 36 names who signed up for cook for a scripture cup. Um, I'm ready to mail them. I've got my boxes in from the post office and I've got all the bubble wrap I need. So um, y'all send me emails and we'll get those um, payments taken care of and I'll get these in the mail. There goes my dog. I'm glad they did that right before we pray. Girls, what are y'all barking at? As soon as they stop, we're going to say our prayer. Man, when they bark, it just echoes. Y'all wonder why I keep them up when I'm cooking. That's why, that right there. Because if they hear, especially when you're cooking, if they hear the least little bit of noise, or they think they can trick one and make it run outside where they may get a bite and the other one don't, that, that's how they act. And so I can't have them... Up barking and making a big racket when I'm cooking live. Dolores found her cups. Awesome. I haven't been able to find but four more. That's it. All the places I've been. All right. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Um, Dolores, did I have you on the list? Let me look. Dolores. Dolores. I didn't have you on the list, so I'm glad you found them, Dolores. Good for you. All right, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for everything you do for us as believers in, in um, this wonderful Bible study that you have given us today about anger. I know each of us are in our flesh in that we are subject to... Um, of course, be angry, Lord. And I just pray that we would listen to what you've said to us today and see that it is not help, help for, for, helpful for us to be angry with others. Uh, angry with sin, yes, but not angry with others. And that includes the person who is doing the sin. It is the sin that you're angry about and not the person. So may we, Lord, um, only approach our anger as much as we can in this matter and, and try our best to uh, not be angry, say things that we can't take back and um, do things that we shouldn't do to hurt somebody's feelings. Um, I just pray that you would help us with that, Lord, uh, because it's hard. Words can be very ugly and hard. And they're very hard sometimes for people to forget and forgive. I know as Christians, we are to forget and forgive them. But all of us, um, any of us could have a hard time with that if the words are mean enough. So just be with us. Um, help us have your uh, Holy Spirit um, calm us when we are faced with an experience of anger, may we breathe in and out and meditate on the way we should behave before we lash out um, in the anger. Uh, be with all of those who are listening today, all of our viewers, those who have been in the hospital this past week, those who have had loved ones in the hospital, been diagnosed with conditions. I pray that you would be with each and every one of them, be with all of our viewers and keep us safe and keep us from harm. And may we all love on each other and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
Y'all have a blessed day, and I hope to see you in the kitchen this evening around 5 o'clock-ish, okay? Love you. Bye.